Today we are going to remove 12 SSDs M.2 that are here to this new Asus Store Flash Store Generation 2, which is a beast compared to the first generation. But the objective of today is do not lose any data. This is a NAS unit, a network attached storage solution, which will allow us to use instead of iCloud, Google Drive, Dropbox, our personal cloud just in case you haven't touched one of these it's great because we don't have any limitations we don't need to pay monthly fees and we can have like this one right over here 24 terabytes so that i can store my pictures from my phone or from the phones of everyone on my family documents that i want to share or that i want to keep private i can do everything that i can with a cloud service with the advantage that everything here is under my control and if you are watching this video on your windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper now this is the first generation it's awesome i've been using it since it was released this is the second generation and it's wow instead of one 10 gigabit port it has two 10 gigabit ports and two thunderbolt 4 ports which will allow us to edit videos on the fly without a lot of stuff let's leave that for another video right now i want to share with you the desktop that i've got here with this asus store flash store as you can see i've got some apps because besides being a cloud that we have at home we can install services like we have seen recently here on the channel like Artguard home jellyfin port trainer and a lot more we just need to go to the app central and we have a lot of apps that we can install if we go to all apps we will lose count on what we can install so a lot of services but i want to show you that this is my desktop and this is what i expect to have by the end of transferring the ssds besides that if we go to the storage manager as you can see we have 12 ssds right over here three volumes the first and second volume are raid single drive so no raid level and then the volume three is a raid five volume so the volume one and two is disk one and two which is meant to write data that i want to write specifically to drive or ssd one and two so that i know exactly where my data is and then on volume three i've got a raid five so even if i lose an ssd i know that my data is still there now these four units right over here say Sabrent SSDs, two terabytes each, are not active at this moment. Actually, if I put the mouse cursor here, inactive, which are drives that sometimes I remove, I do test out other units and then I put them back, I share the results with you. We do a lot of stuff here, as you know. Besides that, let's take a look at the storage folder or the file explorer. And if we go to this folder, for example, I've got some projects that were edited with my laptop connect via the 10 gigabit right over here, which we can edit videos without any issues whatsoever. I have the expectation to connect two computers i'm not really sure if i will be able to do that one via thunderbolt 4 the other one via thunderbolt 4 and that the both of them can access the video library that i have if that is something possible this will be a great editing machine as well and i will be sharing that with you i've got some other data here that i did back it up just in case things do not go well but according to asus store the only thing that i need to do on any asus store unit is to remove the drives insert them by the order that they are and that is it i will have everything on my new unit now this is not just for these models this is for any model if you have an ASUS store with two hard drive base for example if you get one with four hard drives will be fine if you get one with two hard drives will be fine as well if you get one with four ssds or two ssds it will work the same way i don't believe ASUS store has one with only two ssds but you got the idea so that being said uh, let's go for it swap the drives really easy we just need to place drive number one or ssd number one on slot one and so on and so forth so in about 30 seconds or so the curious thing is that if we take a look at the model this is the fs 6812 
X, which is this unit right over here, the upgraded second generation. Now, if we go to the dashboard, I already logged in, and as we can see, my apps, at least the ones that I do have on this first screen, are here working fine. I do have an update to do, which I didn't have on the first generation, so I believe that it's a firmware update to improve this particular unit. And this is something very usual on Asus Store. If you have a unit, you know that they release a lot of updates frequently according to the bugs that the team finds and also according to the bugs that the community finds and then we report and then they fix anything that they need to fix. And besides that, they improve a lot of stuff. They add apps. If we go to to the app store right over here we have a lot of apps to install and every time that i open a asus store unit uh, it looks like it has more and more apps and as you can see you could see the thing it just went up because it did refresh and it has more apps and it keeps on going so a lot of apps but important in this particular case is did my data pass fine from one side to the other if we go to the file explorer everything is here so i just uh, i don't know 40 seconds or so replacing the ssds from one side to the other i take more time doing this particular video than i did with the actual upgrading from the nash unit now if i go to storage manager i can take a look that some things are different in terms of the adm the interface we will take a closer look and i will share with you my impressions as well not today of course today is just the upgrade but although there are some differences we can see that i've got volume one here volume two here here three four five and six are inactive which are the ssds that are here but i'm not using them at this moment and then we have the raid five right over here which is really really cool honestly surprised how easy it is now i did read the instructions asus store has some videos as well on their library and they are very basic the only thing that they say is if you upgrade from one asus store unit to another asus store unit the requirement is that the new unit has to have the same amount of base or ssd slots depending if we are using mechanical hard drives or ssds or superior slot and if we are using a asus store flash store with six ssds then we can upgrade to a six ssd unit or to a 12 ssd unit which is the one that i've got right over here easy as this but as we can see right over here it has an amd ryzen cpu quad core i will leave a link down below with all the specifications prices and information about this unit but it's a lot more powerful than the first generation it's a complete different generation the only thing that it's similar it's on the design on the format and on the ssds that it takes but even on the speeds that it can achieve it's different from the first generation which is awesome but not as awesome as this one right over here which although i use asus store units on my daily basis i never upgraded from one to another using this method because usually i always do a backup and then i import the backup to any nash and in this particular case wow saved a lot of time hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one